You can switch between Japanese Romanji lyrics. Oh, I should probably do that immediately as well. Just in case I want to, actually, because, like, Romanji is like, eh, that's good if you want to learn the pronunciation of the Japanese songs, but I'm probably most likely going to... How do I get to the options menu? This is a completely different interface compared to the... Menu? Circle? That doesn't happen. Sub. Options! Here we go! Okay. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure you guys want to learn the translations. I'm probably... I probably cannot read the translation because I'm going to be too focused on watching the game. But, uh... Star flex input. Adjust the stick controls to the rhythm game to turn on. Okay. Star target sensitivity. Medium. Okay. Vocals when feeling. Whether vo set whether vocals are sung when you miss a note in the rhythm game. Actually, I I really like this option because like I don't think any, a whole lot of people would use this. Like they would probably make it to sung just because they enjoy the music. But I personally always like put it into not sung because like I if in case I mess up I was like oh. The fact that they're not singing indicates that I'm messing up, so yeah. Let's play model for customization. Okay, it seems like everything's all good and dandy. So it's on English, so we'll be able to understand what the fuck they're saying because we don't know we don't know Haponanese or whatever. Okay, sound options. We should probably just get this out of the way before we play through this game. Uh timing calibration. Actually we should probably do this because I am playing on uh HDTV. Alright. What oh! Okay. Rhythm game display lag adjusted has been successfully calculated. If you hit all three of the targets, this timing should be accurate. Alright. Yeah, the way, um, I've been playing a lot of rock band and guitar here as well. I know, like, when, when terms of rhythm games, there's always, like, a different timing set. So I should probably really do that just in case so that I can have, like, I guess in, even so, like, negative 28. That's kind of not that bad. It could, it could have, like, it could have been a lot worse, but, like... To make sure I have like the most perfect timing, it's probably best if I just make it absolutely... In fact, I'm gonna probably do a another test just in case. Because negative, tw uh, negative 28, I mean, okay. If it's consistently like in a certain number, then I would get it. Alright, negative 22, yeah, so somewhere around that-ish. I'm gonna set it to negative 28 just in case. But yeah... Also, like, when I play Guitar Hero and, uh, Rock Band, they have a different calibration system, so it's, like, it's a little bit always confusing whenever they always test out, like, neg- because I've never seen a negative calibration before. This is the kind of the first time. Miku. 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 Please. Please stop. <laughs> okay, Cloud Request. Let's actually play the damn game for once. Okay. So, this is classic. We are not going into cute. Uh, what was the other three again? They'll probably gonna tell us later. So I'm guessing... Start by trying the first sound. I'm guessing this is... Okay, so we... This is actually a lot better when it comes to, like, organizing, um, set lists because, like, as much as I think the Project Diva after Project Diva second did a good job organizing the music, um, this is a good way to, like, indicate which specifically is, uh, what's, uh, on which song. But, uh, at the same time, I can't- It seems like I can only play this song from now, so it seems like it's kind of like a one-on-one -on -one basis. So you play one song first, you can only play that song. Alright. Every song in the song cloud has requests associated- Well, then again, I did see, like, a free play mode, so I'm guessing, uh, that's where you get all the songs, when, and the cloud request is just there to unlock songs. So it's actually a lot more better when it comes to like trying to unlock uh, music. That's cool. Every song in the <coughs> sorry, every song in a cloud has requests associated with it. Those requests each have an aura, which you can use to give yourself a leg up. Don't forget to check out the aura. Hopefully, I can, I'm able to um, look at the music video without playing it, so that I could probably analyze and try and listen to the song at the same time so I don't have to like focus on actually playing the game. Once you pick up a request, the rhythm game will start. Here's what the rhythm game look screen looks like. This is the voltage rate. This will be the score multiplied during the ooh, rhythm game. The higher the rate, the more voltage you'll get. Voltage is a good thing. Okay. The this is the voltage gauge. Voltage gauge, this fills up when the voltage you get if you totally full at the end, you complete the request. Okay. So it's really good if I'm able to uh, see it. The problem is, 
I won't be able to see it if... Uh... Okay, yeah, I know everything else. I, forget, I keep forgetting it. I need to set the uh, options on the thing as well. But at the same time, I'm not sure if you got... Well, then again, I am recording this on Sony's Vegas, so I'm probably sure just gonna edit this, like... Pre-thing uh, as well. Where is it? Is it even here? I don't think there's actually an option for me to... Uh... Okay, so I'm kind of stuck. Because like, I kind of see like a dip in between... Actually, hold on, wait a minute. This is probably going to be a 0.5 segment now that I think about it, actually. But, uh, I need to set something real, real quickly. Uh, is it going to be on the system's... Screen, maybe. No, not that. Display area settings. It's not saying, it's not really... The setting is effective only for some applications. Oh, there we go. Okay, I see something. But at the same time, I don't think you get what you guys are seeing is the same thing. Hold on. Let me see if I can adjust it so that it requires both of our... Okay, so I see... I'm gonna just enlarge it a lot more. Okay. I'm seeing your guys' screen right now. Ooh, okay. Ooh, that's even better, but... I'm sorry, I'm looking at the screen, not the exactly... Other. Okay. So this will be perfect for you guys. Press enter. Okay. But what would it look like for me? Because, like, I know the capture card and the uh, TV screen are way different. So for me, it stinks. But for you guys... Okay. This will be the perfect match for my TV screen calibration. But for you guys, it's gonna be something along the lines of whatever I'm seeing right now. Okay, so yeah, there's definitely gonna be some black bars. Let's enter now. Yeah, there are some black bars. Actually, I don't think it's really that noticeable. And even so, like, it doesn't matter there regardless. Okay. What's going on on my screen right now? What the hell? My screen still looks exactly the same. What the fuck? Oops, wrong button. Okay, yeah, this is definitely gonna be a 0.5 segment. It does seem... It does seem like I can't even change it whatsoever because, like, no matter what I do, the display area will always be set to whatever the capture card is telling me to set it to. Oh my god, that's gonna suck. Okay. Looks like I'm gonna have to fix it again once for the chapter, just so that you guys could... Oh, that's the maximum. The maximum is... Okay. Oh, uh... God damn it, okay. Let's go back to the game and see what it looks like now. Okay. Uh, that was the .5 segment. We'll be right back for real this time, and... The next part, we're actually going to start the game, so stay tuned for that.